Okay, hello, Leo. Um, okay, that was the feedback. Okay, hello, Leo. We're getting into it. Okay. All right, so this is going to be your indie general. We got the big girls out. I had a personal read where someone requested that we pull the girls out. And I was like, the girls ain't been out in a while. So, Leo, let's try them out on you now. All right. Some of them are um, in reverse. So I just turned the deck around a little bit. One, two. All right. What do you have for Leo here, please? And thank you, Chill. Damn. Check it out. Okay. See, some of them are in reverse. Okay. So there's a man holding a coin in reverse. Carrying connections in the reverse. Woman holding the corn in the upright. Carrying connections in the, excuse me, reverse. Sacral chakra under the man holding the coin in reverse. Yin and yang in reverse under a carrying connection. Broken heart under the woman holding the coin. Seventh chakra in the upright. The fourth chakra, which is a heart chakra in the reverse. Walking away his underbroken heart. <laughs> now, look, Leo, I don't know how you're going to feel about this. All right. That's a lot of reversals. And then when you look at the story, it looked like it goes like that, though, because on the one end, because this spread is walking through. Right. So on the one end, we got the man holding the coin, sec second, second sacral chakra in the reverse. But it was in the upright is the crown chakra. So something came to someone's awareness about a situation where somebody was playing with some money, uh, was doing some mis um, misappropriating funds. They were doing something here when it came to even um, maybe there was something sexual that happened. Maybe somebody caught a little something going on, but there was something that happened between the two, these two people. Or it could be you on the outside looking in, but I feel like whatever this is. Let's talk about the person here. The man holding the coin in the reverse, the sacral chakra in the reverse with the crown chakra in the upright. This may be someone that you know, someone close to your energy that has um, issues. They may utilize their sexual energy for the coin. They may utilize their sexual, sexual, sensual, sacral energy. They have some really interesting ways of trying to keep themselves going and flowing whoever this man is they may be 43 36 41 i don't know well how old they are okay we're not gonna get into the numbers today maybe next time or in the another read that i do here today depending on how i'm feeling about it this person may come off as very wise whoever this is they may come off as very wise very forthright very um um, in, um they know about business a lot about business but I think that they have some type of imbalance that is causing you to see exactly who they are and how they come. And now you probably saw this when you first met them. You figured it out a long time ago. Like, you know what? Something ain't right. Something ain't right. And, and there it is. All right. You may have dealt with this person for quite some time. They may have even lied about being out of a situation, out of a connection. They may have lied and said that there was an imbalance between them and their partner with the yin and yang in the reverse with the caring connections falling under that and said that they weren't in love or had no more compassion for them uh, here with this heart chakra in reverse. But what I'm getting is that because this person, if you are, if this is someone that you are dealing with personally or they t are telling you that they have been done with somebody they're, if they the way that they are telling you what it is that they are telling you that they are done with and why they are done with tells you everything that you need to know about how this person is coming. This is a very um, this person doesn't have discipline. Um, this person that I'm picking up may even be in a space where they got their heart broke a long time ago. So this is a recurring cycle or pattern with this person. Um, I am seeing here that when you begin to focus on your money, you want to make sure that you are yourself because you are crossing. I feel like you are the woman holding the coin or you could be the man in reverse and moving into the woman holding the coin because maybe you were so much in your masculine that you were working out of your masculine in the reverse. You move into the female. You balance this out, right? You take care of yourself and, and, and make self-care a priority and balance out your masculine and feminine. And you learn to walk away from things that no longer serve you, things that um, have run their course. People place situations that have run their course, holding more firmly on to what it is that you present, how you present is what I'm getting with that as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, let's go back to the initial story. 
because <clears throat> you know these cards i do pick up a lot of information from a lot of cards and i try to stay in one storyline but it's not always easy and a lot of y'all that have been here for a while you understand how that goes because it's about what you need to know and not what you want to know but a lot of times a lot of other stuff does come up to uh, give you clues on what it is right so when it comes to your job and this connection this this connection may have tried to cause some type of distortion in your work with this broken heart there's something here that it, the only way to the only way to get through this and get over this is to get away from it, right? You can't heal in the same place that they got you sick, right? So you have to go into a space where you are healing from whatever this is that causes imbalance. I feel like it's an imbalanced person. It could be a man or a woman. I feel like it's an imbalanced person that really just tripped out right there. They may have been in a toxic relationship, a toxic situation. It doesn't have to be a partner of yours, but it may be somebody close to you that a homegirl, homeboy, whoever, and they always going through stuff and you seeing where, you know what, they really are draining. All right. Um, no looking back. T try not to, you know, be in a space where you look back or try to be too concerned about what happened in the past. Work on what needs to be worked on. I feel like there's a huge download that's coming in or a lot of information, a lot of clarity. If you ask, it will be there. A lot of clarity is coming through to let you know which direction to go and how to go, um, especially when it comes to um, now you, I feel like you're going to find out that somebody didn't have feelings for you or their feelings weren't the way that you thought that they were with this um, heart chakra in the reverse. Somebody isn't who they weren't as loving as you thought. They weren't as um, there for you, whatever that is. All right. So let's clarify. I'm getting the energy off of these, y'all. We're going to see how they work out if I keep using them. There's a lot of solar plexus energy um, at your disposal, but you have to, you know, really pinpoint which direction you are going to go with that. You may even have a friend of yours that is going to tell you some type of truth that you may not be ready to hear. All right. But it's going to give you that push to go. It's like a catalyst. It's going to give you that push that's going to catapult you out the dough flow. Okay. Yeah. Um, this man, like there, it may even be someone who um, asked for some money because they said that they were having some type of issues in their lower region or they, somebody may have lied about uh, getting rid of a baby. That's what we call it in, in back in the day. That she just going to go over there and get some money, get rid of it. So somebody may have done that as well. I also feel like things were topsy-turvy. This may have even been a domestic dispute, some type of fight. All right, let's see. What is this man holding a coin, chat? Because what Leo got going on? <sighs> Damn, he popped back out again. But this is the Four of Pentacles, right? This person is trying their best to hold on to or, or present. Like I told you, they present themselves like they got it all together, all together, right? But they are really losing their shit. This is someone that has a feminine imbalance. So they have a problem with women. So they may have a sexual problem, a problem with women and how they view women, how they treat women, how they, whatever it is. It could be a man or a woman because you do have women that have problems with women because they were abused by women, okay? Keep it together. Keep it cute. With this Four or pentacles they want you to uh, create some type of brand boundaries with this person they may be into astrology or the arts as well whoever this person is um yeah they may have some type of issues with their eyes this may even be someone who um uh, has a, the lower teeth sit out they're prominent right so sometimes i think that the, it's like a i think it's called a crossbite i don't remember i think it's a crossbite where those teeth pull out a little more and the front teeth are back or something like that what is this um, caring connection in the reverse telling Leo? Well, me and Leo today, child, because I'm trying to figure it out. All right, all right, all right. So there may be, um, I don't know if you have some type of jewelry that you wear that you've been cleansing and, and you use it for direction or something like that. But I feel as though you are going to come out shining on top of this, even if this is a breakup, a, um, a, a, a divorce or what have you. I feel like you're going to come out on top of this, right? Maybe a Libra, Taurus, any earth sign, because it's mostly earth signs here. What is this woman holding a coin? I think this is someone that you may know. Yeah, it is. Queen of Pentacles. So it's either you or someone that you know. She's clarifying herself. 
Um, but this is double whammy. So you may have a number of jobs to do, a number of hats to wear, a number of suits to throw on. I don't know your life, a number of uniforms, okay? But I do see here where within the secret is a secret within the secret with this woman holding the coin. I also feel as though there's a need for you to relax because you have a lot of protection. You have a lot of armory and artillery. Here, look at this lady chair. She got on the elf's uh, little helmet thing. She know what she's doing, okay? All right, it's given nine of pentacles, training eagles. But this is the Queen of Pentacles, all right? Very, um, very much so, um, like the posture. Leos are, they may be y'all. I, I do feel like the Queen of Pentacles is y'all, but it's double queen. So it may be even someone that you know that's on your type of time when it comes to doing what it is that you do, how you do it. They get how they get you how they get you, right? Um, You just present things differently. You and this person. But yeah, your posture is on point. What is this second chakra? This sacral chakra for Leo? Not the king of wands in the reverse. This is the king of wands in the reverse. All right. So the, that's what I'm saying. The sacral chakra in the reverse is someone. I mean, the king of the king of the king of wands and the sacral chakra in the reverse. Number one, they, um, the king, the, the king of wands are the ones within themselves are very spiritual and they're very much so receptive to the feminine. The feminine energy is very much recept receptive to them. So with this queen of wands, I mean, this queen, this king of wands in the reverse with the uh, falling under the king of pentacles in the reverse of getting tied to what's wild about this is that. He's not protecting himself. This person don't use protection. They don't use protection. They don't know. Somebody is going to trick them. I just heard back though. Somebody is going to trick them or sneak up on them. Something is sneaking up on them. That's wild. Because whoever this is, don't see something coming. They are too much caught up in this world. Anytime, that's why we have to make sure that we are balanced. Because when we become too caught up in this world, we get to slip and slip and pay double. I'm just trying to figure it out. With this queen of, this king of wands in the reverse, clarifying this sacral chakra energy, this is wild. Number one, both of these kings are falling off their throne. Number two, whatever it is that's going on got something to do with a snake. Good Shout out to Southwest Africa, all of the Africas. I love y'all, but you know what be going on. All right, what is this yin and yang here? Y'all know the big girls be talking. What is this yin and yang and this uh broken heart? Damn, four of wands. In the reverse. The four of wands. And the upright is like this. In the reverse, it comes out like this. So the cards don't necessarily have to be upside down, but that's how you differ, differ, differentiate. So yin and yang with the four of wands in the reverse. All right. Trying to find a way to change this or turn this around. Trying to figure out how to make something happen before another person finds out about it. Um, something that was done in the dark coming to light. That's exactly what that looked like, don't it? It was done in the dark and now it's coming to light, right? Oh, man, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I mean, y'all grown, ain't it? What is this broken heart? What is this broken heart? Needing to really sit down and analyze what you got going on. and what It's time for some new laws that govern you. It's, some, it's time for some new boundaries. If this is someone that is in close proximity, because you got to remember, anytime somebody playing a game raw like this and you don't play the game the way that they are playing it, but they are in close proximity to you, they will rub off on you. They will either take some of your uh, gifts or take some of your manifestation energy, take something from you that you hold valuable and will forget about because this person is a thief. This is a thief, okay? People in the reverse are thieves, okay? What is this crown chakra popping? The hierophant, protection, priesthood, moving more into um, a structured way of living, structured way of doing things, uh, putting the, you know, going ahead and getting some type of legal, legal, um, legal action taken right something is telling you here from a grand scale that it's time for some type of legal action or some you need wise counsel right this could be a job this could be you know imbalances at your workplace that could be that could be what's going on all right what is this fourth chakra which is <coughs> excuse me the heart chakra 
what is this uh, going on with this heart chakra? Something has to go to the, the big courthouse. The Knight of Wands in the upright, moving too fast, all right? So some of you have been in a space where you're just moving too fast, doing too much. Think about it, just go do it instead of, you know, really seeing if it lines up with who you are. Not saying make a decision from the heart, but make a, a decision that aligns with your great, with the greater good of you and all who are involved. So now you are figuring out what it is that you did, how somebody came in and played games, possibly with that Knight of Wands and the Heart Chakra in reverse. You thought that things were going to go one way and they ended up going another way. So you decided to go ahead and walk away, get away, run away, be on your way, okay? So Leo, thank you for allowing me to use these cards on you because i think they're getting back getting a goof back they're getting a goof back okay okay 